Most rice can be found growing or in your kitchen cabinet, but did you ever think of using it to make pictures? Heather Mann of Dollar Store Crafts did, and she created these dyed rice pictures. We've also taken it one step further and we're adding wax strings and sand for variations. So you can use it to create kind of a mosaic effect. And what you'll need to get started are some wax strings in different colors, and you might want to use some colorful sand. You'll need some craft glue, and I'm creating a card too, so you might want some paper, and you can print out some patterns to follow along. So the first thing we'll do is make the card. And I printed out this pattern that has the dots so that I can get three balloons on the front of my birthday card. And what you're going to do is just use a black marker and press over each dot, and then it will go through the, I'm using some thin paper here so that it goes through onto my paper so that I can kind of just have a connect the dot when I peel my pattern away. So we'll do it like that. And this one is already done, and I'm going to leave this one blank so that I can do something a little different. Now what you can do is just follow that line around with your strings. I'll get a couple of different colors here. And these will stick right to the paper, and they warm up a little bit when you're using them too. So just start at one end and trace all the way around. And of course, you could draw your own picture or spell your name or maybe put the number of the age that the person is turning that you're giving the card to and use that to create your pattern. We'll put that one down here. Then you can use another one to make another balloon. And I think this one, I'll make a two color balloon. So I'll do half of it in blue and I'll trim away part of it and then I'll do the rest in another color so that I can add some more colors to my card. So this time I'll use a little bit of green. Let's see if I can just, also if you go along around the outside of the dots, I'm going to add some sand into the middle of this one. So these that are inside are all going to be covered up. So we'll make sure that this is close together here. And then we'll press this one down. So that you're creating a cavity for your mosaic. It's kind of like stained glass even. And this one where I have a little bit of space, I'm going to just add another piece to make my string. I want to roll that out so that it's covering the outside of the dots. And I'll bring this one and put it down so that it looks like a balloon bunch. And I can make another balloon out of a spiral. And to make a spiral, what you can do is just start by bending your end in and then roll it all the way around. And you can keep going until the spiral is as big as you want. And it all sticks to itself. So I'll start mine here, but I might not finish it quite yet. Now I want to be sure to show you how to add sand here. So what you can do is take some craft glue and layer it into the inside of your balloon and then use a brush to just brush it all around up to the edge. Then you can fill this in. And you can use any color you like. I'm just going to make sure this is pressed all the way down and then add my layer of sand. This is a fun way to add some texture and some different colors to the front of your card. Now I have another little piece of cardstock here that's folded that I can shake the extra sand into so that I can pour that back into my container. And I'll use that for another project. All right, so that's one idea for filling. Now the idea that Heather brought to us was using some rice. And what she did is use some fabric dye and added some seed beads and mixed it all together with rice to get some different colors. And that's another way of adding texture inside your wax strings. So what that looks like when you glue it is very similar. You just can, again, use your wax strings, press them down onto the paper. And then you want to make sure that each cavity is completely solid around the edges. And this pattern will be on the website so you can print this out. And it's the same idea. You just put some glue in the center here and then brush it around and then add your rice. And you wanna use just enough fabric dye to make the rice, of course, 
just add a little, kind of stir it in a little bit at a time until you have the rice the exact color that you want. And then you can let it dry overnight. Then we'll fill this in to the body. And then you could also create the stained glass effect around the outside. So once this butterfly is all filled in, then you can do different colors of rice around the outside or on the inside wing like Heather did. Now you can also use wax strings to create very simple patterns like this. So this is a great project to do when you're by yourself even. If you don't have a grown-up's help, you can just stick the wax strings onto paper and you don't even have to fill them in with sand or rice. You might want to color them in yourself and make different patterns and do all kinds of fun things. This is a great project for a rainy day or any old day when you want to have fun.